Now, if you're interested in some professional video editing software, if you head over to Blackmagic Designs, and they make some fantastic software, click on Products, and what you're looking for is DaVinci, DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, I just clicked it up there. Don't go shock horror, because this one's a th uh, near, just under $1,000, but click Learn More. There's different versions of DaVinci, and basically what you've got, uh, DaVinci Resolve, what you've got, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, here we go, you've got the Resolve version 12 here. This is the free version, and suitable for independent users working on SD, HD, and Ultra HD product projects. Then you've got the uh, Studio, which has a 4K output and a few other bits and pieces. And that's why it's $1,000. Then the advanced one comes in at a shocking $30,000. Um, but for most users, we just need this version, which is the um, free version. And the cut down between this one and this one, there isn't really that much difference. I mean, like I said, the 4, 4K output's one of them. There's a few things you can do with audio, there's a bit of video stabilization, but YouTube does video stabilization. Audacity is good for editing your audio, um, so you don't need it. Well, I couldn't justify spending a $1,000 on it anyway. Um, I could probably justify the $30,000 on the equipment if I got to that level that I'd actually need it. Um, but either way, just click to download the Mac version or the Windows version. So let's actually see the video software doing something, the, the editing software. Um, let's throw in a waterfall down here. Uh, what else can we have? Uh, got some birds chirping there. And where's my son? There's will be there. So we've got three bits of video clips here. We can click on them, see them running. But then if we go into the editor, what we have here is where the clips are. Hang on. I should actually be showing my, my clips. Ah, it's got the toolbox open, that's why. Uh, let's close the transitions. Close, close, close. Oh, where's our videos? Media pool, there we go. So what we got, we got our wall fountain, it shows it here. And then this is what will become our timeline, which is this bit here. So at the moment, this window is just showing the clips. So if we grab this, throw it in here, that's now on a timeline. As you see, it's throwing it here. And if we grab my son, we'll throw him in there. You can see the timeline as the two clips. And as you probably noticed, my son's the wrong way around. So if you go over to this color menu, which is the bottom right, and we want to turn him around. So we just make sure we clicked on that one. And we just want to turn him 90 degrees. Turned him 90. Now we should be able to go back to the editor. And he's the right way around now. Um, what else can we do? I just want to show there's a lot of functionality in here um, because it's a fully working piece of software. Uh, let's have an effect. Uh, Venetian blind swipe. Let's drop that in there on the start. We'll make it a bit longer so we can make sure we can see it. So we go over at the start of the video. You can see it's now got a Venetian blind intro there. So you've got a fully working suite for doing your video editing. Um, there's obviously a lot more to this because this is a pretty advanced piece of kit. Um, I'm looking forward to get my, getting a bit more familiar with this over the next few days. All right, thanks for watching.